Hey, what's up guys? You're watching Theodro Tech, and today I'm gonna to talk about the new project that Intel has announced recently at IDF, that's the Intel Development Forum. They are talking about a new project called Project Alloy that they've created, which is essentially a fully contained virtual reality headset. Now, I've talked extensively about virtual reality headsets in the past. You got the Vive, you got the Oculus Rift, and then Microsoft is doing something a little bit different, not quite virtual reality with their HoloLens, but now Intel has entered the game and they have some interesting features on this thing that I'm gonna talk about that are pretty unique. So as I mentioned, this Project Alloy headset is fully self-contained, meaning that all the processing is done on the headset itself. It doesn't have to be tethered to a computer. It's totally wireless. All the tracking is done from the headset. It tracks you, all of it without needing to be attached to a computer or anything like that, which is pretty unique because obviously the Vive requires a really powerful computer. Most virtual reality headsets will, especially the Oculus as well. So this will be a very interesting feature for people who might not have a very powerful computer. And I think it's a sign of things to come. We might start seeing more untethered virtual reality headsets, which I think are gonna be awesome. The headset uses into Intel's RealSense technology, which allows it to map the room. And the RealSense technology, I believe, uses depth sensing cameras, along with maybe some other sensors and algorithms to really identify depth in a scene, or the real world in this case, and identify objects, separate them out from the background, and be able to identify what's going on in the room and show them to you, for example, so you don't bump into them. In the demo, they showed the headset mapping hands into the scene, so it wasn't just visually mapping it, but actually allowed the hands to be visually put into the scene so they could interact with objects so when you pushed your hand further away it would show up in the scene and be overlaid over the scene but also you could allow that to interact with objects in that scene. Now the edges of the hand and the visual quality of the overlay didn't really seem that great it was kind of fuzzy however it did seem to track the overall basic shape of the hand pretty well and it can actually individually identify fingers and that sort of thing. So I'm sure as this technology improves and the computing power especially, you'll be able to maybe even get much higher quality overlays and mapping and visual overlays of the hand so it might look like your real hand in the scene even though it's not. Now Intel is calling this whole thing merged reality, which seems to be very similar to Microsoft calling the HoloLens experience mixed reality. Although with the Intel headset, it starts out in virtual reality and inserts real life objects into it. Whereas HoloLens is kind of the opposite. It, you look out into the real world and it inserts holograms. So it's kind of similar, but of course they're gonna serve different purposes depending on whether you just want some augmented reality or you wanna start out in virtual reality. And also Intel has actually teamed up with Microsoft apparently to develop the Windows holographic experience which I guess they plan to use to bring virtual reality to all mainstream PCs even as soon as next year, and they're gonna be using the holographic platform. I've seen some images showing people wearing full virtual reality headsets and using Windows that seems like a similar shell as what they use in HoloLens, except it's all virtual reality, not mapped over reality. So that'll be interesting to see if they can pull off putting virtual reality into regular PCs without needing a powerful PC to run all the graphics if these things are gonna be totally self-contained. And I expect this is a good way for Microsoft to push their holographic system. So they're gonna have HoloLens to use reality and overlay the holograms, but then they're gonna use their headset and maybe even Intel's for virtual reality. So they're gonna cover both bases using the same platform, I guess. And as a final note, Intel has said that around next year, they're gonna be releasing this Project Alloy as an open hardware platform, which is interesting because I expect that means that they're gonna allow other manufacturers to develop their own headsets around this Intel RealSense platform and allow that technology to be used. And I guess since it's open, it might not even require some licensing or maybe just minimally. So it seems like Intel doesn't necessarily want to focus on the hardware side, but maybe rather the software side and get this adopted so they can sell software for it. And this is kind of what we've seen on the virtual reality side with Valve and their Steam VR. They're gonna basically allow anyone to use the Lighthouse platform and tracking and system as the Vive. 
they're just allowing HTC to manufacture it, but I think we're gonna start to see more manufacturers that are gonna be using Steam VR. They already allow Oculus. Oculus is really the one that's locking everything down. And because of all this, no matter how you slice it, I think this is gonna be great for the consumer, great for the industry, because it's gonna introduce a lot of competition which means they're gonna get better at technology because companies wanna have the best platform and best hardware to sell to consumers. And I think we're gonna see some major improvements. And I was kind of surprised that they were announcing this self-contained unit as soon as next year. And sure, it might not be graphically advanced as something that's running off a super powerful computer, but it's gonna show you where this industry is going and I like it. So that's about it. There's nothing we can really talk about more except to wait and see what happens. And I think the future is pretty bright in this aspect. If you guys have any thoughts of your own, we could talk about that down in the comments section. What kind of things do you wanna see in virtual reality? Would you get a mainstream headset that allows to be untethered with your Windows computer? Also, if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to keep watching, I've got some other videos on the right hand side. You can click those or look in the description for the same link, like if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos multiple times a week, so it should be worth it. Looking forward to hearing from you guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.